Hello again and welcome to the third part, uh, third chapter of the course How to set up an online shop with PHP and Dreamweaver In the second chapter we saw how to generate databases and in this third one we will start using Dreamweaver in order to establish the administration of our site In, in order to do so we have installed WOMP it comes as a standard. You know that as a default, WOMP saves the websites in your C drive in the WOMP www folder. So what we're going to do is creating a new folder in there, and we will name it we will name it shoes, which is the name we gave to the database. So we're going to name the folder just the same. The next step would be starting up the Dreamweaver and we're going to set up the web as a local project. So we can do it from here, new site, or from here, administer site. As you please, anyway you reach the same place. So we create a new site. We name the site Shoe Shop. In local site folder, we change the name to shoes. Then we move to the server section and we're going to create here a local machine using local network because I'm using my own network. This is just to tell Dream where, where I have the local files, so to say. You can see the folder I created, which is in C, WAMP, www shoes. I select it, and the URL is going to be initially, initially localhost, which is the local machine I'm working with. And in advanced, in the server model, we're going to choose PHP MySQL, which is the model we have. We save changes, save it again, and click done. So automatically it has sent us the corresponding folder as you can see. C1 www shoes. And it's here that we can start building our our website. As you can see, it's completely blank. We're going to create a couple of folders that I, I consider to be very important, such as an images folder and the administration folder named admin. I always had a folder called includes so that I can put there all the files that are related and it's easier to find them. Next thing we're going to do is a template for administration. This means that we're going to make a kind of basis file for all the administrative procedures we will carry out. This will be useful because for the real part of the shop we will also create a template. So we go to File we select new blank template and we choose a PHP template and now here it's a matter of choosing one that may fulfill our needs for example uh, I want one with a heading a left menu bar in here in the middle we have the space in which the transactions take place this is five it must say create new file so we click on create it asks us where to save the file so we're going to create a new folder for the style and we are going going to save it in here in there so that everything is well arranged <clears throat> and the file is called as uh, we can see here to fix columns we save and automatically Dreamweaver generates a template with layers with lists to use as menu etc The first thing we're going to do is saving this template. So we'll go to the file menu and we will click save. But I advise you to use Control S, which is a shortcut. In okay. It now says that this file has no editable areas. Never mind. 
we'll add them later we accept and in shoe shop it asks us what's the name of the template i'm going to name it base admin because it's going to be the base template for my administration i hit save i'm going to do something else the let's see the the, the utf so that it communicates well with the database you can keep it uh, utf8 or the spanish iso which also includes saying so <clears throat> this has a longer explanation but i prefer to work over iso you can work over utf with no problem at all but for the stresses you will realize iso works much better what else by now we already have a template with a lot of things dreamweaver has given us and we don't really know what for and we are going to start deleting things that are not really useful for us because there is a lot of code around as you can see uh, I am in a split list code on one side and design on the other so we will delete those things that aren't really useful let's delete this that corresponds to the logo we must press delete we are not going to use this list either so we select it and delete it and basically what we have left is what we are really going to use I'm here I can add a heading in the left side the menu and in the main page the contents styles can be changed whenever we want that's nothing that's not going to be a problem next thing we can do separating things as they are I mean um, as, as this part of the page is going to appear many times and this is a template it has to be a very simple one I like doing my templates this way first thing I select this text during where I has put the here and I delete it and I'm going to use right here in PHP Oops. Oh, there is no PHP menu here because it's it's a template okay so we're going to use an include and include basically does this we open and close the PHP include and I'm going to tell it to include the heading admin PHP file which we haven't created yet but we will do it in short there it is it's blank because it hasn't found that file yet so let's create that file it's called heading admin php so we come here and create it in the includes folder we create a new file and it will be called heading admin php inside it as it's an inclusion file I'm going to delete everything inside it and I'm going to write administration I save with Control S I close this and it doesn't appear here yet but relax it will appear later now let's do the same for this content um, I think I'm going to delete the footer because this is going to be an administration file or in any case I'm going to write my own text that will appear always and that's it for example administration shoe shop and it's an administration we don't really need much more with this we already have the heading so this thing here we can delete this content because it's useless in our template so we select the whole text until this P and we're going to create a zone here as you will call it let's see template objects we choose we choose to create an editable area we will see what this means and what it entails we need this new this editable area as content and that's it as you can see what we have done is sparing the upper part for the administration heading and the right side for the content well by now and not to make this chapter too long we're going to stop here and in the next chapter we will improve this template and give some life to it 
Okay, we save it with Control S and we will continue in chapter 4. Regards.